Hey guys, so a lot of you guys wanted an update on yesterday's video. Basically, there is no TanaCon Day 2. It got canceled and I'm just going to give my opinion on this whole situation. So there's been a lot of stuff that's gone down on Twitter. Um, <clears throat> first off, we were told that we would get a, that if we followed Good Times Live, the people who were basically running the event, um, they were going to post on their Twitter that, like, when we could go and pick up our badges, for those of us that never got our badges that we paid for, they were going to have us pick up our badges sometime last night at that hotel. And we were never updated. I stayed up till about 11 o'clock waiting to see what was going on they still had no answers on whether there was going to be a TanaCon day two or where it was going to be held because they were saying they might hold it in a different place or like anything we were so uninformed so i don't know and And so many things have been being said that just aren't true. So I watched Tana's live stream. And she said that like 15,000 people showed up. And the way she made it sound was like acting like people showed up to ruin her convention. Which isn't true. A bunch of people just showed up because they said you could buy tickets at the door. And a bunch of people were in line. And they should have had a VIP line, a line for people who had gotten the free tickets online, and then a line for people who had just showed up that day. But they didn't. So, literally, I talked to people that had been there since 6 o'clock in the morning. And... It's still, there was never three lines, like she claimed there was. There was always one line. The security guards told us to go to one line. We asked about VIP. He said, go to one line. So I don't know if Tana was misinformed about this or if she's just saying that. I honestly don't know. I really don't want to throw any shade at Tana because Tana was super sweet to me. I think she's a really sweet person. I just think that she maybe let stuff get in the way and was just focused on trying to beat VidCon rather than actually worrying about the safety of people. Because honestly, um, after thinking about it, I mean, if Shane had come out, he would have definitely, like the security, there was not enough security. He definitely would have gotten probably like knocked over like who knows what would have happened because most of the people were honestly there for Shane and so I really don't know I don't know I mean I literally changed my flight to come early just so that I could see Shane and changed it actually twice just so that I could see Shane and then now I don't get to see him so like, honestly, I don't know. I wanted to see Shane so bad, and I just, and I know it's not safe for him. I just really hope that there's some way that, I don't know. I wish that it just would have been organized better, because it really sucks for the people that traveled really far and paid for their VIP to be treated like this, and... Yeah, I don't know. And also, I'm super sunburnt. You can't really tell on camera, but I'm, like, really sunburnt. Well, you can kind of see it a little bit. And I forgot to bring aloe, so I'm going to need to go get that. And I don't really know what to do for the rest of the day because I'm alone. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know how all these rumors are going on though, like there's so much stuff that's just going down. I can, I mean, I know there's been stuff with James Charles, which I understand why he's upset. I don't know, I just hope that Shane's okay, I hope that, 
I don't know, I'm just trying to have a positive outlook and I guess we'll see what the rest of my time here entails. I seriously just don't understand why they didn't have three lines in the first place. That makes absolutely no sense to me. It was not at all organized. Um, I don't know.